All right, so in your project, um, at this point, when you're getting ready to put in those uh, storefront systems on your project, it should look something like this. You've got a couple temporary walls in around that lobby or around that exhibit area, and they should look like this, like op uh, opaque walls, just like that. And the thing we used, this interior 3 and 1 8 partition um, as a placeholder for the time being. Yeah, you can do that now or do it later. I'm going to do it later um, uh, for the for this. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new uh, window system. So let me go back to our um, to our handout here. So let's go to there. I got to scroll down here a little bit. Okay, so we're going to create that curtain wall in our lobby area here. So what it says is uh, navigate to your O2 second floor level. Um, and then launch launch this uh, wall command. All right, and use this type selector to um, select the curtain wall storefront, and then we're going to duplicate it and rename it to uh, Ranger Station Curtain Wall. All right, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, so I go to the wall command, and I'm going to go down to curtain walls, and I'm going to find storefront. All right, I'm going to go to edit type. So we're going to create a new wall type, just like we did with the other walls. I'm going to duplicate it, and I'm going to call it. Let me go back to there one more time. It's called Ranger Station Curtain Wall. All right, so I go Ranger Station Curtain Wall. Now I already got one created, so I'm going to call this one Curtain Wall Two, since I've I've already done this before. So on this project, so I'm going to say OK. All right. So then, what it's saying here is, um, is it you want, it wants you to change a couple settings in here. All right. So let's do that. It changes setting, and so what we want is a minimum spacing of six feet, and a fixed distance of eight feet for our horizontal. All right. So minimum spacing of six feet, and a fixed distance of eight feet. All right. That's good. It's already set. All right. Good. All right. So that was easy. And I'm going to hit, hit finish. All right. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use my type selector and I'm going to convert all these walls here to uh, that storefront that I just created. All right, so there and there. And I'm going to pick these guys here. All right, so then I'm going to go to my type selector, and I'm going to pick my curtain wall storefront. There it is. Ranger Station storefront. And what it does is then it's going to convert those walls into uh, storefront systems. So it should look something like this. So what it is basically is this aluminum frame here, and it's basically got a piece of glass in it. All right, so that's what all these pieces here are. And what you can do at this point is, that, um, is you can pick those walls, and you can say attach top base and then select the roof that you want to attach it to. And so what it'll do is it'll give you an error message here. And what it's basically saying is, is it alright for me to delete those mullions across the top there? You don't need them anymore. There's, um, so of course, just say delete elements. Alright, so I delete elements. And so notice what it does is it reshapes that, that piece of glass, adds a curved mullion underneath that roof, and then just kind of trims up those mullions for you. Alright, by the way, when I say mullion, what I'm talking about are these pieces here, these these horizontal and vertical aluminum pieces here that are framing the glass. So I'm call, I'm referring to those as mullions. All right, all right. So I'm going to do that with the rest of these uh, walls here. Pick that one and pick that one. Attach top base. Pick the roof, and then delete those el extra elements. Now another thing I want you to notice too on here when I go down to my O2 entry level is that I did each of those curtain walls as separate elements. So I did them as separate walls between each of the columns. Make sure that you do that when you we guys are um, creating your curtain walls. Don't do one continuous wall all the way from uh, column uh, two to five. All right, break them up into sections. All right, that'll make it uh, work much easier. All right, and then another thing you may notice here is I've got this little gap in there. All right, um, so how do I get that gap? How do I get rid of it? Basically, what it's saying here is that uh, 
columns and uh, and walls like to join together, just like walls and other walls join together. There are going to be certain situations where you don't want a wall to join with another wall, and you don't want a wall to join with a column. This is one of those situations. What's happening here is there's just a conflict that's going on with, within Revit here, uh, where this, this curtain wall is trying to join with that wall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, select the wall, right click the little dot here, and I'm going to say disallow join. Alright, once I do that, then I can pick that wall and I can drag it up to the column and uh, it'll close off that gap. Alright, so if you find a situation, you may find also a situation too where you've got uh, your curtain wall, like your part of your curtain wall, kind of going into your column like that. So what you may want to do is just select that, the curtain wall, the little blue dot, right click and say disallow join and then drag it to where you want it to go and that should fix it. All right. Another thing too that I'm noticing as I'm looking at mine, I click that curtain wall. The glass, this is the glass panel here, these two thick lines right there. That's the glass panel. You want act that actually on the outside. So I'm going to select this, I'm going to flip it. And so now the glass is on the outside. All right. So make sure your glass is on the outside. Click on that one. Flip that wall. All right. So that's going to flip those so the glass is on the outside. All right. All right. The other thing too is I want to show you kind of this, uh, show you how a uh, how this storefront wall works. But I want to show you versus how the uh, curtain wall works. You'll notice in the wall sections here, in your wall types, you've got a curtain wall and you've got a storefront. Those are your two main ones. All right. The storefront is the one that we're using. Curtain wall is a completely different type of wall. But let me show you how that one works. I got a curtain wall, and I'm going to draw this out here. I'm just going to draw a little curtain wall there. Okay, and let me go to my 3D view. All right, so here's the storefront system that we have here. Here's my curtain wall here. Notice the curtain wall looks like a big piece of glass. All right, it doesn't have any mullions on it. The storefront does have mullions. So essentially what a storefront wall in Revit is, is it's basically a grid. You basically you draw a wall, and it's already going to put in a, uh, a grid of mullions, like these aluminum mullions here. So uh, we've got a vertical grid here and a horizontal grid, and you basically set your spacing. So I set my spacing of, you know, six feet vertically, eight feet horizontally, and uh, it's always going to draw a grid. So that no matter what, no matter what you do, you're always going to have a grid um, on that wall. All right. Then the other thing you can do too is you can pick different types of mullions. So here's a two and a half inch by five and a half rectangular mullion. Mullion. You can also pick different shapes, different sizes. You can do a circular one. Uh, a square one, rectangle ones, so on and so forth. So you have a little bit of flexibility there. But again, a storefront system is always going to be a grid. Now I go to my curtain wall system, you'll notice it doesn't have anything on it. So the reason is, is that with a storefront system, you can customize it to whatever you want. So let me go to my north elevation. I'm sorry, south elevation. That'll work better. South elevation. All right, there it is. There's my uh, aluminum storefront. Let me switch over to Fine Detail, and I'm going to go to uh, Consistent Colors. All right, so the blue there, this kind of bright blue, represents the uh, the glass on there. All right, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go over to the Architecture tab, and I'm going to look for these two, these two guys here, the Curtain Grid and Mullion. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start well, out with Curtain Grid. And so Curtain Grid, you're basically you can you're pace, placing on here a little grid system. Uh, but it can be whatever whatever um, dimension you want. So, for example, I'm going to put my first vertical curtain grid at uh, three feet. My next one I'm going to do at five feet. My next one I'm going to do at four feet, and then I'm going to start repeating that pattern: three feet, five feet, four feet. All right, and then maybe I want a one foot six in there just for for fun. Then I can do horizontal ones. I can do a horizontal one all the way across at about five feet. But maybe I want to start breaking it up a little bit, so I'll put one just between these curtain grids there. So I can just put a single curtain grid across there, another one over there, another one, let's say, right there at random. And then I'll do another vertical one here, so on and so forth. So what I can do is basically I can just pick a, I can just custom design my own uh, framework for this window. All right, so now once I have the curtain grids in, then you can apply the mullions. So what you do is you draw the curtain wall, which is just a big piece of glass. Then you draw the curtain grids, these curtain grids on there, and then the mullions go on the curtain grids. All right, so I go to mullion. I pick the mullion from the type selector. Um, 
I'm going to go with this one and a half by two and a half inch rectangular one. And you just click on the, gr the uh, curtain grid, and it'll add a mulligan onto there. Now, if you want to speed up the process, basically you can go all grid lines. And it'll put a grid line on all of them. All right, so you can create a kind of a cool custom uh, one. So for this project, on our lobby, we're going to use that storefront system. But feel free, like on any of the other windows in the building, to use maybe the curtain grid if you want to experiment with it. You're not, you're not, you don't have to for the grade, but just if you want to um, experiment with it because it's kind of a neat, uh, neat command. All right. So then the next thing in our handout is telling us to put doors in here. All right. So doors are a little tricky. All right. So let me scroll on here to the doors. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to load this family into our project. So I'll curtain wall storefront double. And that's going to be the doors for the front of our building. So let me go back to our project file. I'm going to go to my floor plan. Now the instructions tell you to do it from your elevation plan. I like to do it from my floor plan, so that's where I'm going to do it. Okay, so I go to the door command, and I go to load family. I go to the doors file. Curtain wall storefront double. So that's my door family. So I load it in, and I'm going to say OK. And I've already got one in there, so I'm going to overwrite it. Okay, so typically this is the this is the the uh, um, what typically students typically do next is they go and they try to insert a door into a curtain wall the same way you would any normal wall. You go there and I'm you go in there and where's my cur curtain wall storefront double? And it's not in there, so you don't have it in there. So um, to put a curtain wall, so there's a very special process that you'd, you'd use to put a door into a um, storefront or curtain wall system. To do that, what you have to do is you actually have to pick the piece of glass. So let me switch over to um, consistent colors. So you get that bright blue color. So I, now I can actually see where that glass is. So I'm going to pick that. Let's flip this wall for real quick. All right. So I want to find the glass there. There it is. So what I have to do is I have to select that piece of glass. All right, that kind of turquoisey blue looking thing there. So to do that, I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to click the tab button a couple times, and what it basically does is it goes through different selections, like different parts of that curtain wall system, as you kind of click the tab button. I'm going to click it until I get onto the glass, and I can see it highlighted there. So I select the glass. So now I've got the glass selected. All right. So you got to use the tab button to get that glass, because essentially what that curtain wall is is a series of panes of glass and mullions kind of stacked on top of each other. So you have to tab through and get them. Now that glass is pinned, so that's good. So I'm going to unpin it. So now I can edit that glass to whatever I want. So now I've unpinned the glass, and I go over here to my um, type selector. And that's where that curtain, uh, curtain wall storefront double is. And I click on that, and it, it basically what it did is it changed that piece of glass to a door. And there's my door, and I can flip it uh, inside or outside. The thing you don't want to do is repin it, because watch what happens when I repin it. It changes it right back to glass. So don't, don't repin it. You can just leave it unpinned, and that's fine. All right, so then I go to my 3D view, and there it is. You know, you'll notice too um, when the door's there that it still left that mullion at the bottom of the door, uh, which is a tripping hazard. You don't want that. So I can unpin that and I can delete that, and then the door automatically shifts down to the floor. All right, so that's basically how you put in your doors into your storefront system, and the same process works basically for um, the curtain wall system. So, for example, if I use the curtain wall system and I tab to the piece of glass. All right, and then I want to change that to a door. All right, so change that basically change that um, piece of glass to a door. And notice it, whatever shape that piece of glass was in, the door picks that shape. So you've got this really cool tall door way at the top there. And you can also change it to any different. You can change these glass panels to pretty much anything in the wall uh, in the wall command. So I can go to I can change it to a brick wall. Brick on CMU. And basically, you've got. Oops. Sorry, hang on. I hit ray trace. But basically, yeah, you can pick any kind of wall type that you want um, in there, and it'll convert that to uh, that that uh, that curtain wall panel. It'll convert it to whatever wall type you want. So if you did want something, if you did want. Um, you know, a uh, different piece of type of glass. You basically create a different wall type, 
and then um, so for example if you wanted wood if you like say wanted a wood panel there or um, or a different color of glass you just create a new wall type that was that piece of glass and then you just switch it over there switch it using the type selector okay so that is basically the the basics of the storefront command and also the um, curtain wall command